So, you might have visited a nice beach, a streaming river, or even a lake. But have you ever seen these weird trees that seem to have tall outer roots? Well, that, my friend, is a mangrove tree. And no, it has nothing to do with mangoes. <laughs> so, what are mangrove trees? <laughs> Let's find out today. But before that, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more trivia videos like this. Alright, let's begin. Hello everybody! My name is Franco Carrillo and welcome to Mega Franco TV! Franco Trivia number 19! are mangrove trees so mangrove trees are actually unique trees that can survive in salt water because unlike any trees mangroves are one of the only ones that can survive in salt water almost no tree can survive in salt water for the majority of normal trees high saline soil means a death sentence. Salt water negatively affects plants by dehydrating them. And also, the tides can change drastically. Oh no! So how does a mangrove survive in such condition? Mm. Well, that's because mangroves had tall outer roots that help them. And not just that, but they can also filter the salt water through their roots and also their leaves. Whoa, wow! That is amazing! And not just that, the soil the mangroves thrive in are mostly sand and have no space for air. So instead of getting in oxygen from the ground, they take in oxygen from above. Yes, they have special roots called pneumatophores that shoot out of the ground and take in oxygen. Wow. That's clever. Their life cycle is also pretty unique. Well, as you can see, unlike any other trees, the seeds of the mangrove do not come from fruits. Yes, the seed of the mangrove just came out of the branches of the mangroves. Yep, you heard me right. And they also grow while they're still attached to the mangrove tree. What? Huh? And once the seedling develops, it gets dropped out of the tree and gets flown by the water current wow. until it gets on a nice spot where it can grow into a new mangrove plant or it can just flow out of the ocean for eternity. <laughs> <laughs> and fun fact guys, there are about 80 different species of mangroves. Wow. There are red mangroves, black mangroves, and loop root mangroves and many 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 more mangroves out there though well, i do not know what type of mangrove is behind me though <laughs> not just the mangroves are pretty unique but they're also an important part of our ecosystem mangrove forests support a huge array of biodiversity Whoa! providing food and shelter for many species above and below the water. Wow. Many fishes and crocodiles, birds, and even sharks use mangroves as a nursery for their young. Yep, you heard me right. Many fishes from the sea go into the mangrove to lay their eggs or give birth to their young there so that their young could be safe from ocean predators. And not just that guys, they also prevent coastal erosion, tsunamis, and floods. Wow. And mangroves also do a great job in fighting climate change. Whoa. Yes, guys. Actually, guys, when a normal tree takes in carbon dioxide, well, when their leaves fall off, the carbon dioxide is released again. But 
In mangroves, they take in carbon dioxide, but when their leaves fall off, instead of it getting released back into the atmosphere, which is bad, the carbon dioxide gets stuck in the water, and which becomes what known as the blue carbon. Blue carbon is the carbon dioxide captured by the world's ocean and coastal ecosystems. And after that, it also gets stored in the roots of the mangrove and also gets stored underground. And even if mangroves just cover 0.1% of our planet's surface, mangroves take in 10 times more carbon per hectare than terrestrial forests! Wow. Yes! That is cool! Wow. That is why mangroves do a great job in fighting climate change. Imagine that, guys! They absorb 10 times more carbon than normal trees? That is amazing! Even an entire forest can compete with that! But sadly, guys, the mangroves have been disappearing in a distressing rate as people keep cutting the mangroves down for taking up space for aquaculture such as shrimp farming or even building new buildings. And sea level rise also limits the habitat for mangroves. As the sea rises, mangroves may have no place to grow. So, do your thing guys! Protect mangroves and join mangrove protecting groups. You also have to stop climate change and sea level rise. And if you want to learn more about sea level rise, you can click this video here. That's it guys! Like, share, and subscribe to Mega Franco TV! Bye! Hey, hey! And, hey, look, guys! There's a little baby mangrove underwater. Did you see that? Look, you may not see it, but it's right there. It's Mega Franco TV! Thank you and don't forget to subscribe. See you on our next video!